Armado sends Moth his page to fetch Costard. Boy, fetch him the swain. He must carry me a letter. Go! As swift as that, sir. The meaning, pretty ingenious, is not leather metal heavy, dull and slow. You are too swift, sir, to say so. Is that lead slow which is fired from a gun? Oh, sweet smoke of rhetoric. You refuse me a cannon, a bullet, that's he. I shoot thee at the swain. Something, and I flee. A most acute juvenile, voluble and free of grace. <sighs> By thy favour, sweet Wilkin, I must sigh in thy face. Most rude melancholy, valour gives thee place. <coughs> My herald is returned. A wonder, master. Here's a costard broken in a ship. Sit our costard? Mm -hmm. I would enfranchise thee. Oh, marry me to one Francis. Oh, he smells of this. By my sweet soul, I mean setting thee at liberty, in freedom in thy person. Mm -hmm. Thou wert immured, restrained, captivated, bound. True, true. And now you will be my purgation and let me loose. I give thee thy liberty, set thee from durance, and in you thereof impose on thee nothing but this. Mm -hmm. Bear this letter to the country maid Jacquinetta. There is remuneration. For the best ward of my honour is rewarding my dependence. Moth! Follow! Now I will look to his remuneration. Remuneration? Well, that's the Latin word for three pardon. Three pardon? Remuneration. What's the price of this equal? One penny? No, I'll give you a remuneration. <laughs> Why, it carries it. Remuneration. Why, it is a fairer name than a French crown. I will never buy and sell out of this word. Uh, my good knight Costa, exceedingly well met. Pray you, sir, how much coronation ribbon may a man buy for a remuneration? Uh, what is a remuneration? Mary, sir, half penny farthing. Why, then, three farthings worth of silver. Ah, thank you, worship. God be with you. Uh, stay, slave. Mm -hmm. I must employ thee. Uh, that will win my favour with my name. Do one thing for me that I shall entreat. Uh, when would you have it done, sir? This afternoon. Well, I will do it, sir. Thank you, well. Uh, uh, thou knowest not what it is. I shall not, sir, when I have done it. Why, villain, thou must know first. Well, I will come to your worship tomorrow morning. It must be done this afternoon. Hawkslave, it is but this. Mm. The princess comes to hunt here in the park, and in her train there is a gentle lady. When tongues speak sweetly, then they name her name, and Rosalind. Uh, ask for her, and to her white hand see thou do commend this sealed up town. There's thy girdle, go. Ah, uh, Oh, sweet guy. Better than remuneration. Eleven and farthing better. <laughs> Most sweet guy. Oh, you will do it, sir. In print. Garden. Remuneration. And I, the sooth in love, I that have been love's whip, a very beetle to a humorous sigh, a critic, nay, a night watch constable, a domineering pedant or the boy, than whom no mortal so magnificent, this wimple, whining, purblind, wayward boy, this senior, junior, giant, dwarf, damn Cupid, regent of love rhymes, lord of folded arms, the anointed sovereign of sighs and groans, liege of all loiterers and malcontents, dread prince of plackets, king of cut pieces, sole imperator and great general of trotting paritos. Oh, my little heart, and I to be a corporal of his field and wear his colours like a tumbler's hoop. What I, I love, I sue, I seek a wife. A woman that is like a German clock, still in a pairing, ever out of frame, and never going aright, being a watch, being watched, that it may still go right. Nay, to be perjured, which is worst of all. And among three, to love the worst of all. A whitely wanton with a velvet brow, with two pitch balls stuck in her face for eyes. Ay, and by heaven, one that will do the deed, though Argus were her eunuch and her guard. And I, to sigh for her. To watch for her, to pray for her. Go to, it is a plague that Cupid would impose for my neglect of his almighty dreadful little might. Oh, well, I will love, write, sigh, pray, sue, and groan. Some men must love my lady. 
and some drum. Here comes a member of the Commonwealth. God dig you, General! 